Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, well, today we've got an, a little bit of an unusual video for this channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you a tutorial of Sim Casino. Uh, at the moment it's an early access game and why I decided to make this video was because this game did not have any tutorial so I felt like it could be useful because I had to do plenty of research to understand certain things or just play the game quite a while to just get the hang of it, get the hang of controls. So just so you wouldn't have to go through all of this, um, I'm putting this tutorial out there and just maybe this will help you out. So what do we have here? Uh, uh, right as you, you click start the new game, uh, you have to choose your profile name uh, for the tutorial purposes. I chose tutorial. Wow, very original, I know. Wow! Okay, um, the second option we have here is start in cash. And you can even go down to 125,000 if that's what you feel like doing. If you want to start out slow and just not finish the game too quick, which I promise you is not going to be quick. Um, usually I would go for around 500,000. I'll explain why a little later, but to me all the others seem just not enough because the start will be really, really slow. I'll explain a little later why. Alright, the next option we have is Unlocked Cash. At this point, if you turn this on, you can just... It allows you to spend your cash negatively, so you can just go into debt and spend all you want. Uh, for the tutorial purposes, we could turn it on, but no, I don't think we'll need it. Alright, the another thing we, we have is Instant Research. This allows you... I'll show you how to make it work. Alright, this allows you to research things instantly and you don't need to wait for it. As well, auto delivery and instant staff, they allow you as well, they allow you to skip waiting times. Uh, so all of your orders would be delivered at the as, I don't know, as soon as you order it, and the staff arrives as soon as you well hire them. Uh, only one for now it seems to be sort of a glitch that sometimes staff does not arrive immediately, you might need to wait some time or a night. But they still come a lot earlier because uh, otherwise they would have to travel with a bus from an airport, I believe. So yes, that would take a while. And another option we have is a pre-built starter map. Uh, I can show you what it looks like. Alright. So here we go. Uh, this is our casino at this point. Alright, I'm going to pause this. Alright, so like I said for the money... Um, if we wouldn't have gotten ourselves a pre-built map, we could have some options where you want to buy the land. Right now, it's just giving us land at... I'm not sure... Oh, Woody Lane. Alright, we got some land at Woody Lane, and we got a pre-built uh, building. Alright, uh, like I've mentioned, we took 500,000, but it's only 373 left. Because you do have to pay for the land and for the building already. So let's say we had 125,000. Well, we would be left with like 2,000 cash, which I don't think is suitable for a beginning as well, unless you're, I don't know, a hardcore player. <laughs> I'm not that kind of a level. Not that good, I guess. All right, let's cut the chit chat and start working on it. Uh, one of the really useful uh, hotkeys people tend to ask for, I've seen a lot of comments, people just searching for this hotkey, is the letter Z. You can turn off all the areas. Uh, so you could see your interior and ground and everything else. Alright, this is your drop off and pick up area where people or employees, well employees are people as well, I'm sorry, I meant customers and employees, uh, come and leave, they just stand here until somebody picks them up or they arrive from this point. Deliveries, that's where all of your uh, deliveries will be made, that could be your... I think that would be your game coins and everything else, I'm not sure what it's called, but... Anything you need delivered, and that's your garbage, we'll, you will have to... Well, you'll have to put a garbage can here and the trucks will keep it coming and picking up your trash. Alright, some basic controls that would be, we have some ground up and ground down controls here, that's a wall tool that allows you to build walls. Um, a little insight on the walls, a uh, thing I didn't know how to properly use was 
double walls. You can have double walls. Uh, right now I cannot because I have a roof right here. But if I build a foundation right here. Ah. Yes, we need to build a double then the double wall foundation, which you can do by clicking tab. And here you can have double walls. Okay, that allows you to Oh, I built this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a moron. Okay. So here's a double wall, here's a single wall. Uh double walls are used for chandeliers and everything else. Um as well you can easily have second floor with that, which you can go into build mode. And here's your floors and everything. You can just put any floor. I'm just picking a random one. Uh, here you can just put it like this and drag it across. Here you go, your second floor. And then you can just build stairs and climb up your second floor. And I forgot what the stairs are. I think it's there. Yeah. All right here you go. And you can have access to the second floor. As well, once you do research, you can have elevators, escalators, anything you want. Everything is there. Um, yes, those two. You can have windows and everything else. Okay, so everything you need to know, all the building uh, materials, everything is here. All right, things we need to cover as well. To well, I don't want to spoil the fun of your gameplay and set up some I don't know template how to play or anything. All I can say is, um, as far as I've played, uh, you can make most cash from slots, so make sure to have a lot of slots. You can find them in gambling attractions. Uh, you can put down some slots, and you can change their games. Um, uh, there's a brand attraction to, well, it's different for every game, uh, and I believe it's different, or maybe it isn't. I was gonna say it's different for. Um, every single game you create every game it's a different percentage but no i think zombie treasure has always been the 140 in every game i've played all right um and another thing about slots uh i didn't know at first you can make a lot more money from slots um the only requirement is your house advantage has to be, be below 10 percent what i like to do i don't know if it's really smart to do but i usually give 25 Send a play, okay. Then I maximize this to forty percent. I think I'm not too sure. I higher the jackpot chance to ten percent. See, we're lowering the house advantage because we still cannot let them play this. We're going higher on a double bet advantage. Ah, bet price chance. I'm sorry, I wasn't reading. I was just clicking, and I hired this. See, now we have a nine point ninety six percent house advantage. That means we're making a lot more money because previously we had seven percent house advantage. Uh, as well, it's a bigger, well, higher brand commission. But I promise you, this will make you a lot more money. Another pretty useful tool is if you have a row of uh, slot machines, you can just apply to all of same game, or you can apply to all in a row. That will change the games and everything. It makes it easier. You don't have to change every slot separately. All right. Another thing you're gonna want is a cashier cage, which is gonna be. Uh, well, you can unlock your table games once you get a cashier cage. Um, if you have auto, no, I think it was instant, instant something. Well, the the the, the part I mentioned that uh, allows you to hire people instantly and they arrive instantly. Well, the employees, um, then you don't have to worry about hiring people. The game hires as much people as you need and everything is set up on their own. Um, another thing is people usually, I don't know, I don't find this really difficult, but people usually don't know how to get a research office. So you just build, you don't really need this big building, uh, this big room. You don't need that much of it, but I just did it. I don't know why. By the way, this is our cash wall and storage. If you want to increase the capacity, all you have to do is just put some shelves. And I think they were here. Yes, they are. The more you put, the more you increase your capacity. See, it's 55 now. If I put one more, it's, I'm not putting them efficiently. I'm just doing it for the sake of tutorial, which is now 65. Same for cash wall, you can increase them. Right, for our research office, um, just for anything you're building, any area, uh, the only thing you need to know is just 
you can always read what it needs. Uh, research office, it just says right here, a maximum of one research office zone is allowed, requires a fully enclosed space with a door, which we have already, I built a wall. Uh, and I put a staff door, uh, requires indoor area, a minimum size of 3x3, three three. Uh, must contain a computer desk, and requires to be protected behind a staff door or a wall door. Uh, wall doors are just uh, stronger staff doors, which you can get by researching it. Alright, so let's put, well, we only need a 3x3, three by tr by three, but since I've built a bigger room, I will just do that. The only thing we're missing is a computer desk. Here we go. Now your research office is good to go, and employees will come here. So how do you research stuff? Uh, you just click right here on the research at the bottom. And uh, here you go, advanced security. Uh... Yeah, you can research advanced security, which requires an admin with an off. Oh wait, no, that 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 we have that already. Just because our game is on the pause, we don't have an admin. You can research a lot of stuff here and just mess around with it, have fun. All right, is there anything else? All right, what did I need help with when I started? Oh yes, kitchen buffet. Okay, yeah. How to assign a kitchen? There's this thing. I, I was so confused. I didn't know how to assign a kitchen. So you make a kitchen, it has its own requirements, which are, I'm not too sure, what, what were the requirements? Kitchen, fridge, sink, cooker, prep, hot plate, etc, etc, etc. And one of the more confusing requirements, which was really confusing to me, it has to be assigned to this zone. I didn't know how, yes, I put a door behind it, I was so confused, why is it not working? I put an interior door, um, difference between all the doors. Uh, staff door, only your staff members can pass through them. Once you get a wall door, uh, only staff members can pass through them as well. Uh, interior doors, anyone can pass through them, which would be your visitors and everybody else. And private lock door is for hotel rooms or changing rooms, etc. Which is a public door, but it's lockable, so for example, nobody else could come in while one person is inside already. Right. Let's make this. I don't know what I'm... I don't really need to put a wall, do I? No, I do not. So, usually we would get all of this set up, put all of the things needed. It has to be... Oh, 6x6, six six, I'm sorry. I think I did not fulfill this requirement. Another really useful tool we have here is an eyedropper. Uh, we cannot use it on areas, I forgot. But you can pick anything. You can pick a door, you can pick a wallpaper. Which you can have here, wallpapers, paints, everything else. If you hold shift, it will just uh, decorate all of the walls. Uh, or just in the same enclosed space, for example, wallpaper here, shift, here we go. Alright. Uh, going back to this, we need to increase this spot. Is it 6x6? Six six? Actually, it's... Yeah, no, okay, it wasn't enough. Okay, I, I just... Oh, I didn't count it all right we would set everything up but the thing I want to show you is how to assign it so you just left click on the kitchen click assign to and you just assign it it's that easy but I spent so much time trying to figure that out um, another pretty useful thing you should know is I believe oh your finance hub right now since the game is paused we're not making any money we don't have any customers anything else but right here you can see your expenses your income your net and one thing people are usually confused about is their income how they well they get walled money and they don't get from what so all the chips people lose and then chips money people lose and uh, while well, your staff members collect it from ATM machines and they bring it into vault and then at the end of the day, from the vault, it transfers into your bank account, usually. Not always, uh, most of the time you will still have some money left in the vault, which will be around twenty to $30,000. Um, because people, well, in case people win, they need to get paid. Um, if people use an ATM machine on pay or pay you with just with the card you know then you just get the money straight into your bank account that's why there's always separate payments for like oh how much you got from which machine and then there's a vault 
Uh, usually, not, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what they're called once you get them from machines or something. But yeah, it's just to clarify because most people think where did my money go because they earn like 50,000 and it just says like they randomly pay into all 30,000 and then they take out the 30,000. It doesn't go everywhere, it's just for the winning money and just the money people lost, etc, etc, etc. Here you can see your guest experience and you can get some marketing which would be oh it, it says how much visitors you can get and usually you pay you have choices of how good do you want it done how well do you want it done what kind of people do you want to attract and how long do you want this contract for here's all the information of total demand gamblers etc 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 i believe that is it you need to start the game, the most basic things like rotating and everything else are mentioned as soon as you start the game here in the in the start of the game as soon as you enter it you see that. Um, maybe one more thing would be uh, de-zoning which could help you remove the, some part of a zone or the whole zone and dismantling walls and fences. So you can just get rid of... Why is it not letting me get rid of the wall? Okay. Right. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. And just stay tuned. Uh, subscribe if you still haven't. Um, well, I've taken a little break from recording videos and making them. But I've, I've, I've upgraded all of my equipment. And now we'll be getting... Uh, videos and gameplays with less lag with more games and just a bigger variety to just have fun and enjoy our time here right so that's it and I'll see you in the next video